Today we have the opportunity to get hands on with this brand new Mini Countryman, but it's not any Countryman. This is the Countryman JCW, something that we were just shown yesterday, and now today we have the chance to walk around it, talk about the specs on it, talk about how much it costs, when it's coming, and we can show you everything from the outside of it to the inside, which means I'm gonna make Tommy very jealous because my coworker Tommy is a huge mini guy, and I get to see this before he does. Now, if you don't know already, the JCW or John Cooper Works is a higher performance version of many products. And that is true too of this Countryman All Four. Moving back, we can see a little badge here that says John Cooper Works. It has some of those badges and some of those more sporty details all across the vehicle. Everything from this badge here to even these wheels in the center right there says John Cooper Works. Now, what I want to do is I want to tell you about the engine in this car. And let's actually see on this new Cooper. Oh, it's not. So what's funny is that in some older minis, because they're British cars, they're right-hand drive, the hood release is on the passenger side. And this one, it's on the driver's side like normal. This is a two liter turbo four cylinder. It produces 312 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque. And these cars come standard with all wheel drive. Zero to 60 on this car is in 5.4 seconds. So that's all pretty impressive stuff. And I'll go ahead and pop this hood closed. Now the Countryman is one of the bigger, well, it is the bigger mini model. This is something that's meant more for a mini, mini buyer that might have a family, some extra people and extra things that they want to take with them wherever they're going but that doesn't exclude it from having a more sporty variant. And so looking at the front end, you've got this grill with a little bit of a checkered flag kind of pattern. Many wanted this, what they said is that they wanted this to be a little bit like a racing flag. So that was kind of the idea behind this pattern. You can see a couple other details here in the front end, just to give it a little bit more of a muscular kind of appearance. You've got some red accents here along the side. It's actually a decently big set of wheels. I mean, especially for a Mini, these are 20 inch wheels. So not a small set of wheels. And I do like the look of them. JCW branded brakes. Moving back, we've got a pretty interesting tail light set up here. The lights on this, you can set them to have different kinds of signatures. So the pattern, that's in the tail lights is something that you can go in and mess with and adjust. And then spelled out here on the back of the car, of course it says Countryman, and you've got another John Cooper Works badge there. I really like the fact that this car has quad exhaust. That gives this a much more muscular appearance from the rear end. And the roof extends a little bit over the hatch here. Again, just to give it a little bit more of a sporty appearance. I've got to say, especially for a Mini, this car is not super small. I mean, it's, it's, it's got that shape of a Mini, which might trick your eye momentarily into thinking, oh, it's, it's still a fairly small car. But realistically, this is actually a pretty large vehicle. Something else design-wise that I think is cool is the floating roof. There's a lot of vehicles that are doing floating roofs now, but not a lot of them are in this bright in your face shade of red. And then they've got this little fin here at the bottom of the roof. Pretty cool design. But let's jump inside and show you a little bit of what's going on in the interior. Because in this new Mini Countryman, this is one of the big updates. And inside of this car, it's very minimalist. There's not a lot of buttons. It's pretty simplified. And that's cool, honestly. It gives it a futuristic look. And they've got this beautiful OLED screen right here in the center. It's about 9.4 inches and it's mostly round and it's a really sharp screen. I mean, being OLED, that means this is a really nice screen. You've got a few other controls down here. Here's where you turn the car on. You've got your drive selector, just a couple climate buttons, volume knob. So nothing too major there because they wanted to keep this fairly minimalist. You have a few more buttons here on your steering wheel. You've got paddles behind you. It's a pretty thick steering wheel and really interesting. It's for the most part a two spoke steering wheel, but you have this little bit of strap here at the bottom 
I've not really seen anything like that on another car and John Cooper works spelled out here at the bottom of the steering wheel. Also pretty interesting are some of the patterns and design elements throughout the interior. For one, this door handle has kind of a vertical shape to it. It's cool material. It's just got an interesting look to it. You have this fabric here on the door, speaker grill, the pattern that actually allows sound to come through the door are those little blocks and they fade out as you get toward the bottom of the door card here. The dash is also fabric, but you've got this red pattern stitched in that also kind of fades out as it goes up the dashboard. And it's not really going to be very visible here in the daytime, but there's a projector on the side of this screen that casts light onto the dashboard. And it looks pretty cool at night. It's, it's an interesting feature. It just gives it a little bit more character. You've also got these very vertical climate vents here that you adjust with these knobs. I think it's a very interesting interior. I also like the fact that your heads up display is cast onto this panel here in front of you as the driver. Something about these systems, to me personally at least, just it, I find it more appealing than casting it into the windshield itself because it feels like you kind of look at something separate rather than having a thing live in your windshield. Also interesting are some things like this cubby, check that out. You've got just a little storage block here in your center console with a little strap that unlatches it. You've got, of course, your armrest here with a couple USB-Cs below. And then looking at the seats, it's a mix of this more traditional seat fabric with some cloth toward the top. Again, a lot of patterns that they've stitched into it. Red stripe here at the top. You've got that uh, JCW pattern that you see on the badge also here in the seat. So it's, yeah, it's a very minimalist interior, but one that they've put a lot of style into. And even though this is, again, a mini, because like I said, it's not actually that miniature, we have to check out the back seat. Now, right now, this driver's seat is pushed back further than it really needs to be. If I were driving this car, I would have the seat set more where the seat is set on this side. And yeah, in terms of headroom and legroom, there's really no issue there. It's plenty comfortable back here. Not really that small in any notable dimension. And again, USB-C's back here. You've also got some climate vents back here. So yeah, you're not, you're not really wanting for luxury features in the back seat. You've got some cool patterns stitched into the rear seats themselves, cup holders between them. So it's a nice interior. And we also have to check out the trunk space because the buyer who's going to pick one of these cars out is going to be the buyer that wants that bit of extra space. And so trunk room is also gonna be important. And this is a decent sized trunk, especially considering how much room there is in the rear seats. Of course, it's not gonna be as much trunk space as you'll get in a lot of SUVs, but for a Mini, this is a really good sized trunk. Now, let's talk a little bit about pricing. So these cars are going to start around $48,000 and they should be available in May of 2024. So it's coming down the line. And the other interesting thing about the Countryman that we haven't talked about, because this is one of the gas powertrains, but there are going to be available EV powertrains on this as well. There's going to be two different tiers of it. So those are things to look out for if you're in the market for an EV, that's going to be an option coming down the line. Uh, and then if you want a more traditional gas powertrain with your sporty JCW Countryman, this is going to be the vehicle to look at. So let me know what you all think in the comments down below and we'll catch you all in the next video.